this is Greg Ferris of Myo Brain, and today I want to hit you guys up with an informative video, not just me squatting some semi heavy weight. So, this has kind of been on my mind a little bit, and it really kind of hit home today at the gym. So, I kind of just want to make this public service announcement to all my followers on YouTube and anyone else who kind of watches this. Seems kind of like a common sense idea, but apparently it isn't. I don't see a lot of people connecting the dots between mobility and and movement okay so regardless of where you're training if it's a crossfit gym powerlifting gym just a commercial gym 24-hour fitness gold, gold gym whatever you're probably seeing it's a lot more common to see people doing mobility prep work whether it's stuff with the cross balls foam rollers doing some banded stretch you know maybe a year or two ago that was very taboo to see maybe if you're watching this video you're more into fitness maybe you're the only person at your gym doing that you got some weird looks. It's like, what's that guy doing with that band and that ball over there? But now you probably go to most gyms, and, and I see it pretty regularly. I mean, I train a CrossFit gym, so it's a little bit more common there with the explosion of Kelly Sarrett. But even at commercial gyms, they have foam rollers there now, uh, a lot of bands. You see people doing it, just you know, more traditional um, uh, gyms have that equipment as well. So it's cool, and it's a good idea, and I kind of like it that people are... Uh, doing that mobility prep work, but I think there's still kind of a disconnection with a lot of people or maybe just an ignorance or not being able to humble themselves. A lot of kind of uh, problems can arise here, but I think a lot of it's just the understanding. Um, people are disconnecting mobility work that they're doing and their actual movement when they're training, okay? So what I mean by that is you can see someone for 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes do this probably excessive warm-up routine where they're on the rower and they're doing some pass-throughs and they're doing some IT stuff and they're doing some lacrosse ball and they're doing some T-spine and they, mo they mobilize their whole body and they're feeling good and they're ready to move. And then they go out there in their workout and they try to overhead press, they overextend really bad, they try to squat, their knees dive in and they're deadlifting with a round back and they're like, oh, they wake up the next day and my back's hurt, my shoulder's hurt, let me mobilize it. So they roll it out and blah, blah, blah. Then they do that, do that again the next day, the next day, the next day, and they just kind of have the cycle between, you know, they're in pain, so they mobilize, and they lift, they move incorrectly, so they're in pain, and they mobilize. Never really connect the dots um, between what's actually causing their pain or causing their not their ability not to move well. And the, the reason people aren't uh, able to move well is because they're not practicing good movements, right? So... Regardless of the amount of hip mobility work you do or IT band rolling out you do, if you do all that stuff and you're ready to move well and then you don't actually express that movement well in the training session, whether it's a squat, a front squat, a clean, thruster, whatever you're doing, you're not going to be able to move efficiently. And that moving efficiently is what's going to get you better and keep you safe and not kind of uh, having pain all the time. So you're not going to revert back to all that mobility, right? So. The, the, the big overarching idea here is that mobility is really just prepping you to move well. And if you're doing mobility work and you're not moving well, then it doesn't matter what you're doing with your mobility. And again, I see this way too often with people. I'm not just sure, again, a lot of reasons here, but I'm just not sure sometimes they don't connect the dots between why they're doing those movement drills, the couch stretch, the, you know, the ankle stretch, all these things, lunges, why they're actually preparing their body to do that, right? They're kind of disconnecting those movements, the mobility prep, from the actual the actual workout, which shouldn't be that way, right? You know, I'll give you a quick example to finish this video. If you're trying to cue someone, you can't see me really, you can't see me really well here, but if you're trying to cue someone, a very common problem with squatting is that people have their hips shoot back, right? They squat and then they, they hit the hole and their hips just shoot backwards, their knee extends and they're forward, and they kind of do a back extension, good morning to finish, right? So a good thing to all do for people who have that problem is working like a goblet squat or it's a counterbalance squat where they're holding out a weight like this and they're really focusing on keeping their hips underneath them. So maybe it puts a part of their warm-up as a part of their mobility. They're just holding out you know, a 10-pound plate here. They're really focused on keeping their hips underneath them. They do a better job of staying vertical and just simultaneously extending their knee and their hip, right? So you can prepare to move really well. I can, I can put someone doing a goblet squat I can have them doing it. it looks really good. Their, their hips are straight up and down. Obviously, he's not under a lot of load, but they're learning to move well, right? But then if they go and do back squats or front squats in the workout, and they're just, man, man, 
man, for 50 reps to practice, they're going to be in pain. Regardless of how much fucking mobility work they did, they're going to be in pain because they're moving incorrectly under load. So you have to connect those dots between, I did a goblet squat like this with my hips up and down, not having them shoot back out from under me, and then also expressing that with a front squat, back squat, whatever you're doing, right? It's just one example, but I want to make that video, make this kind of clear with people. Make sure the mobility work you're doing is not going to waste. It's good to do that. It's good to stretch, mobilize, to, to help you move better, right? Enough as you need to move better, but you have to actually move better in your workout or the mobility stuff doesn't matter. So that's it, guys. Make sure you check out the website, myobrainperformance.com. That's all I got for you guys. Subscribe if you're new here. Give me a thumbs up and I'm out.